Hi to all you Super Car fans around the world. I'm William L. Smith from William Trev Drive. Welcome to Vlog 12. I hope you enjoy. It's been a while since my last video report, but I wanted to wrap up last season so that I can move on with the next report on the upcoming season. The finish to the 2021 season was full of excitement and interesting situations. Once again, supercars made changes to the running schedule due to the restrictions of COVID. A bunch of races were postponed only to be cancelled later on. In order to make up for the loss of events, supercars announced four back-to-back -back weekends at Sydney Motorsport Park, after which they headed to Bathurst for the season finale Bathurst 1000. Both pit reporters, Charlie Robinson and Mark Larkham, also missed the Sydney events due to COVID travel restrictions. Also, early in November, New South Wales Health had given an exemption to unvaccinated David Reynolds to allow him to come into the state to race at Sydney Motorsport Park. However, Supercars authorities had banned Reynolds until he was fully vaccinated, which meant that his teammate and co-driver for Bathurst, Lou Gilden, had to step in and fill in for him. By the fourth event, David Reynolds had complied with Supercars authorities and was back on track just in time for Bathurst. Thankfully, there was also some good news. After a few months away, Neil Crompton returned to his regular role as commentator alongside Mark Scape. It was great to see him return. The big finale for the year was the Bathurst 1000. <laughs> I honestly must say, it's the best race we've had in years. Supercar teams got their way to have co-drive sessions and test drive while in Sydney. Once at the event, there were lots of surprises. Russell Ingall, a living legend of the track, was pulled out of driving retirement to partner with upcoming car Brock Feeney in a Bathurst wildcard. They ran under the catch name of The Enforcer and the Kid. A reference to Ingle's nickname and how young Feeney is. Wasn't just reporters who missed the event due to travel restrictions. French driver Alex Prema was caught overseas and wasn't able to make it to Australia in time to compete in the Bathurst 1000. Tickford Racing replaced him with young Super 2 driver Zach Best and it was his Bathurst taboo. Incidentally, another Super 2 driver, Thomas Randall, who was paired with James Courtney, also made his debut in car 44. Also, Earl Bamber, who was supposed to race with Andre Heimgardner of Bathurst, couldn't make it because he had other Porsche commitments on. So they had to draft in Aussie Matt Campbell. Past Supercars champion Scott McLaughlin was also another driver unable to make it here from the US for the Bathurst 1000. The event organisers had their kingdom cap on this year. They scheduled the race to start later so it would finish in prime time TV. Driver Chaz Mostert had been competing in the TCR and the GT series along with his supercar efforts. He was leading the TCR series but was considering to give it up to focus on Bathurst. As it turned out, he was named champion elect for the TCR series. He chose not to compete 
in the final two TCR races so that he could focus on his Bathurst assault. All the same, congratulations on taking the TCR series. Now, here is our flashback segment. On this day, Perfect Perkins had his Bathurst triumph. On October 28, 1993, Larry Perkins started on pole position and dominated the race. His co-driver was Greg Hansman. This was his third Bathurst win as team owner and driver. Before Bathurst was run, Shane Van Gisbergen was named champion elect. He had dominated the entire season. This was also the case for their team, the Red Bull Ampole Racing, who were unreachable at the top of the team's ladder. They were sitting pretty for a relaxed entry into Bathurst. Although I wanted Jamie Wincup, who's got seven championships and four Bathurst wins under his belt, to go out with a bang and win the Bathurst 1000, it was cheeky Chaz Mostert and Lee Holdsworth driving for Walkinshaw and Dreddy United who took the win in the 2021 great race all day and dominating. Holdsworth who didn't have a drive for 2021 was not banking on a full time return to supercars in the future but after his win as co-driver to Chaz Mostert it has secured him a full time place on the grid for 2022. It was an incredible race and you can check out my written review on williamsperfectride.com Well that's all I have time for today. I'm William Hill Smith from Williams Perfect Ride. See you next time. See you for part two. Please remember if you enjoyed this presentation please click the like below. Share with your friends. Comment and subscribe to be notified of my next release. You can also check out more of what I do at williamsperfectride.com and my Facebook fan page with the same name. Bye for now. Give me a smile, come on. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>